Uh, right, well, I was, I was getting ready to pack up and, and you know, head for home. And uh, earlier on I said, it's always nice to find a fruiting body that's um, relatively high up, because then we can get low down and maybe try a bit of backlighting. Um, I found a lovely one here, and you can see it behind my left shoulder. Um, it's not, not a perfect fruiting body, but it's just in a, in a little patch of, patch of sunlight. And it does look rather nice. I think I might as well give it a go. And, uh, oops, there we go, look. A very fragile piece of dead wood. Um, and this is the angle I'll probably take at. So we'll get it. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a go, see what happens. If you don't try, you'll never know. Okie dokie. Right, here we go. So I always end up when I'm doing these fungi woodland shots, I always end up getting bitten. So sun's gone in. So I've gone down to 25th of a second, aperture 5.6. Let's zoom in on the back part of the fruiting body. Again, I'm using manual focus. Pop it on the five second timer. And off we go. So I'm going to take multiple exposures and each time I'm going to come round towards that front of the fruiting body. Because ideally it'd be nice to get it all pin sharp. So that's two. So that's three. I think this will be one of the prettiest ones of the morning, actually. Four. That's five. Six. We'll do one more. And seven. There's a bug crawling up the main stem of that fruiting body. Typical. He gone. Yeah, he's gone. Right, I'm just going to get one more on the stem in case he sport the picture. There we go. Right, I'm gonna take one more picture. Uh, I'm gonna alter my aperture. So I want it dark. I'm gonna take one more picture and I'm gonna do a, a 10 second delay. I get my torch and try a bit of back illumination. It might work, it might not. Um, if you don't try, you'll never know. All right, careful not to move. See if I've got my torch. Um, now, the only one I've got today is a uh, a bright LED torch. Um, they're almost too bright. I like the the old-fashioned um, mag lights. Um, but mine gave up the ghost and I haven't been able to find one. So Don't know whether that'll work or not, but just have a look at the picture. Uh, might do. I'm going to do another one. So it's good to be safe and short. One more. So I'm altering the position of the torch because of the shadows. I'll do 
もう,もうThat's rather nice. Can you see that okay? Uh, and the idea is that we're going to overlay that with the other images and we might get a very lovely, pretty, quite spectacular picture. But who knows? We'll wait and see after we get back home. Okay, I've opened up Lightroom. Um, I have had a little previous um, peek at these images and I selected one, two, three images that I like. So one, two, three, file, export, I'm going to choose a new file to put these in. I'm getting so many fungi titled files, it's getting pretty hard to find things. So we'll have a new folder and we'll call it fungi ash stump. There we go. And export. One, two, three. So we're going to open up Lightroom now and, uh, and we'll uh, align those pictures and then we'll layer them on top of one another. Right, here we are in Lightroom again. Uh, let's find those pictures. So it's File, Scripts, load into a stack, Browse. And it was fungi on an ash stump. So there we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hopefully they'll open up nice and quickly for you. There's one. There's two. Two. Third one's just coming. Got to be patient with this iMac. And there's three. Good. Right, so we want to select all three of those images. So that's three selected. And we're going to go File. No, we're not. We're going to go to Edit. Auto Align. Press OK. And off we go. So I'm pretty sure these images should be cock on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was pretty much cock on. So while the uh, the iMac still warm, we'll go to edit, auto blend, 
and fingers crossed it's a little bit quicker. Okay, that's done. Let's have a quick peek. Uh, see if all this effort has come to fruition. Yep, I like that. That's looking good. Great. Right, we'll save that. File. Save as. Don't want to save it on the cloud. And we'll call that Lightroom. Notice all these little bugs and fleas um, ruining my fruiting body. We'll have a little play in Lightroom and see if we can uh, clean this image up a little bit. Good, all done. Right, we'll see you in Lightroom. Okay, here we are in Lightroom. Uh, let's just deselect those images. That's the one I want because we called it Lightroom. So let's import that. Now we're going to keep this image nice and simple to begin with. Um, I'm not going to um, bother about the light painting so much, that can always come at a later date. So first thing to do is to go and develop and we need to crop the image because it hasn't been cropped since it left Photoshop. So we want to get rid of those white lines. And then we need to decide on a final crop. Um, I rather like something along those lines. Let's see what that looks like. That looks rather nice. Um, let's just increase the shadows a little bit. Mm. I like this green here. This is nice. Uh, this is a bit messy down the bottom. So we can adjust that. Like so. Tone down the exposure. And that cleans up the right hand side of the image. It darkens the image, uh, which I rather like. So, you know, the eyes drawn onto my lovely fruiting body. Now look at those little, I think they're little fleas. So let's deal with the little fleas. Um, there's one, let's zap him. He's gone. Let's zap her. She's gone. Let's zap that little fella. He's gone. There's a little one in there. You have got to be quite careful doing this. Hopefully it'll be all right. One there. That's gone. One there. That's gone. And there's one there. There we go. Oh, there's one up there as well. Escape me, little devil. Get rid of that. Let's see how that looks. That's nice. That's nice. Perfectly sharp. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful sharp lines. More or less all the way around the fruiting body. 
Um, there's another little fella there. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Uh, now let's add a little bit of texture. That's rather nice. Let's add a little bit of white. That's rather nice. I've just seen another little flea there. Uh, let's reduce that size down tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Gone. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now what I can do, we've got a little paintbrush here. Um, just to lighten up some of this green so I can just tweak my exposure up slightly and then just paint just sort of that leading edge See the, the eyes drawn down into this detail. And we just paint. Can you see it just changes? Lightens up slightly. There we go. If we wanted to, we could lighten up this fruit in body, but I'm not sure I really want to mess around with it. I'm quite happy. I don't like over processing my images, but um, I'm quite happy with that. So we'll file, export. We're going to export it as a JPEG. I'm going to put a watermark on there. I don't want it on the left hand side. I want it on the right hand side of the picture. So I darken that image up. And that's exporting away and we're done i hope you like that um i'll pop it in the video so you can have a good look white room number one jpeg great thank you well again if you like these little videos um please give the video a like please subscribe to my channel i've got 391 subscribers so far it'll be great to get it up to 500 thank you very much and we'll see you soon.